Ezekiel chapter 11, 19, the Bible tells me, and I will give them a singleness of heart. Oh, people of God, it's a wonderful subject. Singleness of heart means your visions. I mean, hallelujah. Some people, oh, they take random visions. They say one thing and come back and they say another thing. Amen. Singleness of mind is not there. Even in the secular life I'm talking about, in the normal lives. People of God, God can change your mindset. Amen. Hallelujah. If you're somebody, anybody is like that, they can't uh, hold on to their decisions or they are unable to take right decisions, I tell you, anointing will work in your life to change that. Amen. Hallelujah. And God is saying, I need the singleness of the heart. Very powerful statement that is. You can read about singleness. That means steadfast. That means taking a right decision taking a strong vision and taking a vision that pleases God more than anything. Amen. Hallelujah. Pleasing God is a vision God expected. That's what the renewing of your mind. Amen. And uh, that's what Psalmist says in 51.10 Create in me a clean heart, O Lord. Renew. Amen. Hallelujah. Renew a right spirit. He's not saying spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Renewing a right spirit. We all have spirit. Amen. Every believer has got a spirit. But why have to watch what kind of spirit they have in their life. Amen. Hallelujah. Every believer is not saved in the church. If you have a hundred people in the classroom, all the hundred people are not saved. Every child, every student is different from one to one. And the same way in the church, every believer differ in their faith, differ in their subject, differ in their knowledge, differ in their decision making, differ in everything. Amen. That's what he said, create in me a pure heart of God and renew a right spirit. A right spirit makes you different from others. Amen. Hallelujah. Otherwise, you are hard, hardened life. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Your soil is hard this morning. The Lord is saying, allow the anointing to work. Amen. Hallelujah. And God is willing, as we saw in Ezekiel, as we saw in Jeremiah, God is willing to do. God is willing to change your heart and a new heart and a new mind. And He's also saying, I give you the singleness of heart. Amen. Hallelujah. I'll be running. Honor God. Honor God. In every walk of your life, honor God. Honor means honor. Honor means honor. I don't want to expect more. Everything starts from there. Everything starts from there. And you know what God says? God challenges you. Hey, you honor me and tell me if I don't do that, see why. Amen. Hallelujah. God challenges us. If you honor every action, there's an equal opposite. If you honor God with all your heart, He will come back in the same direction and with the same force and honor you among everybody. Amen. Hallelujah. I've seen in my life. Not when I become pastor. When I was saying, we want. We want God only to be a healthy time. I come to the church of the prayer of the, I'm not please, I'm not, I'm telling you for your good. I'm not here to blame anybody with my heart. I'm sharing so that my people can grow wonderful people for the glory of God. Amen. Hallelujah. When they stand, they have to do something for the glory of God. When they preach or when they say something, let them see there's a difference in the believer. Amen. Hallelujah. They should ask which church you belong to. Amen. When we see the students, intelligent students, first thing we ask, hey, which school are you from? Amen? A teaching. I want this church to be like that. Amen? Hallelujah. A teaching. Hey, which school are you from? When you stand among the other believers, when you say something in the, in the place of a church or a believer or somewhere, anyway, God, people should see a change in your personality, in your talk, in your walk, in your mindset, and they tell, hey, the church you belong to, amen? See, in the church, I tell you, not everybody are the same. Don't say my church people. No, you are different. One thing my pastor taught me from the time I went to the church till I come back. One thing he taught me, 
Others may, you should not. Oh God, what a powerful statement working till this day in my life. Others may. In the same church, others can see that. In the same church, others can go there. In the same church, others can speak. In the same church, others can do. But you cannot do because you are carrying a different anointing. Hallelujah. This is what I want to teach my church. This is what I want my people to understand. This is what I want my people to come to the Lord and honor God for. I stand for you. Not when I'm having a time. Not when I'm having a facility. Not having everything. But in the midst of all the emptiness. I want to stand for you. That is an action. God loves him. Hallelujah. And God is saying, I give the singleness of the heart. 